Hello everyone. So in this video, we would be learning how we can convert a complex sentence into a simple sentence. And there are certain steps to convert a complex to a simple sentence. And what are those steps? These are three steps which you need to keep in mind. First step is identify the independent and dependent clause and the subordinate conjunction. You Every time you know that whenever you find a subordinate conjunction in a sentence, that sentence is called as a complex sentence. So first step would be to convert a complex sentence into a simple sentence is identification of the independent clause, dependent clause and what type of subordinate conjunction is used in the sentence. Second is find the type of dependent clause. Is the dependent clause is a noun clause, is an adjective clause or it's an adverb clause. Now what is the identification of a noun clause? You will, you will, uh, you will get to know that the dependent clause would be started with a with a conjunction uh, mainly with that, how, who, were, which, why. So these type of conjunction you would you would find in the dependent clause, and what you would call to that uh, that particular clause that is a noun clause, and in a, another in a, another uh, clause that is the adjective clause. These type of conjunction you would find there that who whom which whose where when what. And in the adverb clause, you will find when, where, wherever, because, since, as, so that, if, unless, thought, although, etc. So what would be the third step after the identification of a dependent clause, independent clause and the subordinate conjunction and the type of dependent clause? Third step would be convert the dependent clause into a phrase or a word and frame the sentence with the necessary changes. Right? You can do certain changes which is required, but the meaning of the sentence should not be changed. It should convey the same meaning as it is conveyed by the complex sentence. Okay. Now understand this dependent clause and this is the phrase of the word. Whenever you find a dependent clause who is a uh, who is a basically a noun clause, an adjective clause and an adverb clause, there are there are certain prerequisite or predefined rule that you can use to convert that dependent clause into a phrase or word. So noun clause can be converted into a noun phrase, adjective clause into an adjective phrase and adverb clause can be in this adverb phrase. Okay. Now this, these are the certain example. Example is he accepted that he is wrong. It's a complex sentence. So our first step would be always to identify the independent clause, dependent clause and the conjunction. So independent clause is he accepted dependent clauses he is wrong and conjunction is that and the second thing we need to do is we need to convert the dependent clause into a phrase okay either it can be a noun phrase it can be a adjective phrase it can be a adverb phrase okay so the second idea is he is wrong is basically is a noun clause because that conjunction is used so whenever a that conjunction is used that idea or that clause would be called as noun clause now in the step 3 Convert the dependent clause into a phrase or a word and frame the sentence with necessary changes. So I have converted this noun clause into a noun phrase. Okay. So what I did is, what I did is, I basically converted into a noun phrase. So I converted uh, that he is wrong into his mistake. It's a noun phrase or a noun you can call. The sentence would be, he accepted his mistake. So it is the conversion of the complex sentence into a simple sentence. Another example could be, uh, this is a complex sentence, no one knows who is he. It's a noun clause, who is he, again a noun clause. So how you can convert a noun clause into a noun phrase or a simple a noun. So no one knows him, it's a pronoun. So it is converted. Next is complex sentence, it is, tell me where you live. Again, it's a noun clause and how you'll convert it into a noun, right? So you can convert that particular noun clause into simply a noun. So that is converted into an address and these are multiple examples which are given here. I will not go into this. Now directly come to the CAPF previous year question. I think this question is also asked in your exam. We eat so that we may live and simply we eat to live. That is a particular question which is asked, which was asked in your exam. Okay. So now coming to the CAPF PYQ question is I have nothing that I can offer you need to convert that complex sentence into a simple sentence what you can do is I have nothing that I can offer can be converted into a simple sentence by converting this this noun clause into a either a noun phrase or either a simple noun so what you would what you would write you can simply write that I have nothing to offer okay next is the minister was annoyed that he had not carried out his orders 
this is the second idea this is the dependent clause again you need to convert this into either a noun phrase adverb phrase or simple a noun or an adjective phrase now the minister was annoyed the minister was annoyed for not carrying out his orders aap ye likh sakte ho the minister was annoyed for not carried for not carry carried out his orders okay next is the people respected him because he is an exemplary leader again this is the dependent clause the people respected him for uh f- the pre- people respected him for his exemplary leadership likh sakte ho aap people respected him for his exemplary leadership okay to yahan pe aapki ye kya ho gayi again a adjective phrase ho gayi now although there is inflation the standard of living has gone up so the standard of standard of living has gone up this is what this is the main idea this is the independent clause and this is the dependent clause although there is inflation now we need to convert this dependent clause into a into a into a, a phrase or adjective phrase or a, a noun phrase right so how we can convert whenever you find this type of conjunction that is although so it's an adverb clause we need to convert into an adverb phrase so what i would do is i'll simply write in spite of inflation the standard of living has gone up in spite in spite of inflation the standard of living has gone up and this is the assignment for you guys basically you need to convert this all this complex sentence into a simple sentence please uh, comment on this video i'll share the answer with you thank you